And the reason why we see Goku as a farmer is because it is a reference to all sands being named after vegetables. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am here with another secret rare story for you. So if this is your first time here and you enjoy what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. And now let's just write it right into it. So we have the secret rare from the World Martial Arts Tournament, Sun Goku and Oob, Seeds of the Future. Let's take this out here so we can get a better look at it. Now, I love these uh, secret rares and special rares where they put the text on it. I think it's really fun. I really like the way that it makes the cards look. It adds another dimension to it. You know, Dragon Ball originally was a manga, so it's very fun to have words on there that kind of go with the image that you're seeing. Now, I know a lot of people had some confusion about why is this card named Seeds of the Future? Does it have some relationship to Oob and how he may be the next part of Dragon Ball? Well, we don't really see much of Oob in Dragon Ball Super, but what we do see are some new sands. So we do see Pan, we do see Broly at the end of Dragon Ball Super, and we see sands from a different universe. So I what the seeds is actually referring to is in the beginning of the dragon ball super series goku becomes a farmer and these are the seeds that goku is going to be using to take part in his farming and the reason why we see goku as a farmer is because it is a reference to all sands being named after vegetables kakarot is carrot vegeta is the beginning of vegetable or vegeta's brother's name is tarble so vegeta and his brother together they make vegeta tarble uh, Kaba, cabbage. Caulifla is cauliflower. Kale is kale. Paragus, asparagus. Raditz, radish. Napa, napa, cabbage. All the different sands are named after different vegetables. This is going to be the seeds for Dragon Ball Super. These are going to be the seeds that Goku is planting. And Goku now has finally become a farmer. He's finally gotten a job that his wife respects. He finally uh, is a going to be a contributing member of society in a way that Chi Chi always dreamt he would be and the Dragon Balls of course will still be there for them and even more than the Dragon Balls being there for them the Super Dragon Balls will be there for them and that's what brings us into Dragon Ball Super so this is a really important card in the story of Dragon Ball Z that brings Dragon Ball Z into Dragon Ball Super which makes it a really wonderful secret rare but of course you know we got to take a closer look at this secret rare and inspect what's going on here wow I really love that. I love the way that every every Dragon Ball has a kind of a, a glow around it, which it, it probably relates to the fact that this card is about seeds and Dragon Balls are the same shape as seeds. So these glowing energy that's coming out of this Dragon Ball is maybe you know, kind of a representation of the energy that's gonna be coming out of these seeds that Goku will be planting. Are they seeds or are they Dragon Balls? Well, with how shiny this card is, we may just never know because there's multiple different kinds of foiling on here and they are just layered and textured in a really fantastic way. Really impressive stuff. Beautiful card. Oh, and I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. It's a bad idea to chew on ice. Now, ice is very cold and your teeth are crystalline structure. So chewing on ice can cause micro fractures in your teeth, which are called craze lines. And over time, those fractures can develop into bigger fractures, which can cause your teeth to crack in the future. So avoid chewing ice if you can. It's not so great for your periodontium. I am Joku DMD. This has been another secret rare story. And if you guys have enjoyed this story, please take the time to hit that subscription button and maybe even hit that little ding dong bell down there. And if you're a returning member of the Joku, thank you for your continued support. If you'd take the time to share this video with a friend or maybe a long, long, long lost relative, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.